Hi, and welcome to another Getting Started with Unity tutorial on www.unitycookie.com. My name is Gabriel Williams, and in this tutorial we will be uh, looking at the basics of lighting within Unity. So to get started, we will go ahead and just, uh, I guess, create a new plane, something that we can light throughout our tutorial. And we'll do that by uh, jumping right up into the Game Object menu and creating a simple plane to start here. Zoom in on that here. And then maybe uh, just a cube or something so we can see these lights, or actually a sphere might be more fun. Just again something to see these lights affecting so we can watch how they work. Now creating a light is just the same as anything else in Unity. You just go to Game Object, Create Other, and you have three types of lights. Either the directional light, point light, or spotlight. We'll start right off with a directional light. And this is the simplest, uh, least expensive light uh, that you can use. It's just uh, the same as the sun in that you simply set the rotation. And it's usually what it's uh, used to simulate is a sun or, or uh, maybe moonlight or something like that. Uh, since where you place it, as you can see here, physically moving it around does not affect its light at all. Uh, simply the rotation. So it's as if that's uh, you know where the sun is in the sky. So that's a very simple light to use. Rotate it around. And just like with everything in Unity, over in the Inspector panel, we have a few options we can change on it. So first of all, there is the type of light, which you can swap it to a different type if you like. Uh, usually not very useful to do there. Um, best to leave it alone. And then best of all, really, is the color. So if you click on this bar here right next to color, you can set exactly the color this light is shining. So maybe if you for some reason wanted a bright red sun or blue or green or yellow or whatever you might want, it's all right there. And you also have the option of clicking this little uh, eyedropper tool here. And you could actually choose a color if you watch it updating in this box here. Uh, anywhere from within the scene. So if you had something else, you knew you really wanted it to be, say, uh, this red right at this point, I can then click there and it chooses that color. So it's a handy little tool for setting your light's color. Uh, we also have the intensity, of course. So this sets just how bright that sun is, or uh, the directional light in this case, I mean. So pretty straightforward there. You can, of course, type in an exact number if you like. And uh, that's that's mostly it for the directional light there. We won't go into any of these other bits yet. They're really more for some advanced tutorials. So we can move right on to the point lights. Uh, and I'll actually turn off this directional light so we can see the other lights uh, a bit easier. So there's this checkbox here whenever you have a light selected, which you can simply turn off and it's no longer on, as you can see. So let's use the game object menu and create, say, a point light. And these are just a more basic light, just like a, as if they're a light bulb. So where you place it, of course, has an actual effect on that light. And we can control this light uh, most easily by simply grabbing these handles that you can see out on its perimeter. And this will change just the range of the light, so how far exactly it... Oops, lost that. <laughs> uh, exactly how far its, it's rays shine, just like that. And of course, rotating the point light has no effect on it. Simply uh, matters where it is in space. And in the inspector, we have most of the same options. We can change the range directly if we like. Maybe set this to 10 meters exactly. Um, and then go back and set that to something if we'd rather. Uh, we have the color, just like the directional light was. We can set this to some sort of red light. Always fun in a game. Maybe set the intensity up a bit, just like that. So pretty simple there. And with a point light we have one extra option here that's nice to use which is the draw halo checkbox. And if you turn that on you get this sort of uh, glow that emanates from it that can be very useful. Such as maybe you're making a uh, street lamp or something. Let's see it has a bit of an orange cast to it. And then if we drag that range down it'll set the size of that glow. You can get a neat little glow effect with it which uh, can definitely look nice when used just right. So uh, let's see, we'll leave that on and then go ahead and create the final type of light, which is the spotlight. And this is just as it sounds, creates a beam of light that you can move around 
and rotate to suit your needs just as you see there and it has a bit more controls on it than, this, than the point light in that you can grab these handles around the edge and change the width of the beam or the angle and the one in the very center will change the range so how far its rays cast so just like that and of course you can change that range again directly in here I want it to be exactly five meters that that you know that light shows and the spot angle maybe I want it to be exactly say uh, 75.43 degrees I know I need exactly that you can always do it that way too and the color again we can just uh, click on that and set maybe a sort of a greenish spotlight or whatever you might want there and intensity once again same sort of thing so with the spotlight you don't get a halo uh, <laughs> I guess you do that's where that didn't work the last time I used it so you do have a halo and again that's controlled I'm sure by uh, the range which we can grab here that will set the range on that so you have a halo with your spotlight and those are the three basic types of lights so we'll go more into detail on all of this and some further more advanced tutorials so look forward to seeing you there thanks